Hey, it's Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a domain name from Namecheap to Squarespace. Um, if you would like to see more videos about Squarespace and how-to tutorials, please click the thumbs up, and that helps me know kind of what you're more interested in. So first of all, just get into the back end of your Squarespace, and we are going to find the domain settings area. So it's under settings, then domains, and then use a domain I own. And I've actually already connected this, but you just enter in the domain name that you wanna use. And the next step would be to, it'll have a drop down, and you put Namecheap or if you're doing it from GoDaddy or whatever, um, you select wherever you bought that domain name. You have the option to transfer the domain, which is what Squarespace wants you to do. Um, but if you just wanna connect it and continue to manage the domain name in the third party provider like Namecheap, you would just click the connect domain. Obviously I already did it, so it's not gonna let me. Um, so let me just change this just for the sake of showing you. We'll see if this works because I just chose a random URL. So then connect domain. And like I said, you'll have the drop down, So you would choose Namecheap, connect domain. And it will pull up some information that you just, it's called DNS settings, um, that you're just gonna keep over here because you'll need to reference them. Okay, so then once you've logged into Namecheap or whatever, go to domain list uh, to pull up your domains and then you want to click manage on whatever domain you are trying to connect. And then there might be another call to action that says like edit DNS settings or something like that. And you wanna click that. So advanced DNS right here is what we will be clicking. So this is where we then go back to Squarespace and you're copying this information over here. Um, note that sometimes um, it won't say correct because it just takes a while. You have to just test the connection and refresh it. Um, but if you're getting like a red error for a long time, then that's definitely something you want to figure out. I also will link this um, article in the blog, but this, these are the DNS settings for a Squarespace. So that's probably what you'll see here. And then you'll take this. So you put the host is the at, the type is the a, and then the points to. Um, and so as you see, it's an a record at, you, that's the, the number that goes along with it. Um, this one points to. So you're just literally copying and pasting that information. Okay, so I've checked and all of those A names are right here. So the next um, step is to do the C name. Um, and so that one has a www host and then again points to. So if you look up here, www host, C name, and then points to. And I just go in, add a new record, and then put the information in. So if you look, I have that right here. And then you have to get the unique code. So this is right here, this one that ends in M for me. Um, and again, it's a C name. So you're adding a new record, a C name, putting the code in, uh, putting in this in automatic, and then click that little save changes. Now, if you want to point to a specific page on your website, that is a whole different um, ball game. And again, I'll link the blog post below where it shows you how to do that as well. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up.